Power is always available. Let somebody say. Power is always available. You don't need to see those blind prophets. Or dirty prophets. Or in white garment prophets. Or in white suit prophets. You are a power container yourself. You are a powerhouse all by yourself. Then to reduce yourself, put yourself so low, and running uh, after some little, little fake, self-deceived prophets, it's a shame. So today we are going to be talking on how to activate that power, how to connect to power, how to activate it. I mean, that is what our people, that is what the witch doctors, Satan did on our people. Satan deceived our whole continent. To, um, to be looking for power. When the whole world was growing technology, they were deceiving us, looking for power. Sorcerers, witch doctors, we have restored them. We have retor returned the witch doctors and sorcerers. Only now we have returned them to the pulpits, to the church. I mean, look at that other one that was exposed just yesterday. What was the name of the guy? Ngila. Joshua Ngila. Ngila. You know, I'm sure my wife will release the audio or somebody will release the audio. Yeah. When we, we, after the HMT, will you do vid the program on that audio? Yes, okay. My wife will take care of it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, because somebody wrote, but he just wrote an article about it. That other guy was Charles Awuze. He only wrote article. But everybody is asking all over the internet now, where is the audio? Audio, audio. They are even writing me audio. I said, where, where? One more week. Less than one week left. <laughs> the audio will come live. <laughs> the audio will come live. <laughs> I mean, Igimla, I've been saying it. Go and look for my video. Have I not been saying that Ingingla is uh, witchcraft? I've said it. That Ingingla, Unkafo, uh, Suleiman, all those people. You see, there are different kinds of categories of uh, pastors in Nigeria. There are those who have just have wrong doctrines because they have been blinded by the God of Mammon. Pastor Yedepo, Adeboye, all those people. It's not God of Mammon that is their problem. But, but when it comes to these other people like Ingingla, Suleiman, or Kafo, that just witchcraft. Chris or Yakilome, that is ES, ESP. That is, yeah, uh, uh, what was the other guy? Joshua, he is the chief of witchcraft. He is the father of this, of this witchcraft. I'm saying it on national, I'm saying it in the World Wide Web. You see, they are hearing me right now. Let them challenge my claim. And I will, prove, I will present my own proofs. Of course, when it comes to Suleiman, it's more, it's more, it's less of witchcraft. It's more of RNG, of course, it's RNG. But uh, but the people like uh, in Gingla, that is pure witchcraft. You know, there are three categories of them. There is witchcraft. There is RNG. There is ESP. Yeah. <laughs> they are all witch doctors, guys. But there are innocent ones that just missed it in the theory, I mean, in doctrines that, you know, like, or like Kumuyi, for example. That's just doctrinal issue. You no, know, but they are good people. You know, like, Adeboye, personally, I think he's a great man. He's a, I think he's a, you know, sincere man to some extent, but, but God of Mammon messed up his theology. You know, it's God of Mammon that's just, blind, he's just blindfolded by theology. By, you know, people like Ade Oyedepo and people like that. But, you know, they, were, they had an experience with God at a point. But they missed it because of money and, and uh, things like that. But this Nginla guy and people like him, all these new generation people, forget. Witchcraft. Mm. 